Hi, this is just a quick video to show how to do scene transitions in the Godot game engine. This is what we'll get. A fade in to the splash screen, fade out, fade in to scene one, fade out, fade in to scene two, and back to scene one. The code is available on GitHub. This whole thing works because we have a global scene with a canvas layer and a color rect with the color set to black and an animation player which is connected to the color and which um, animates the alpha channel of the color rect and that does the fade in fade out. Additionally, since this is a global object and we added this to project settings auto load, um, the whole scene is available everywhere in a singleton and um, the color rect is basically in front of every object in every scene. All three scenes have only a label and a button, and the button is connected to a script, and this script does nothing else but um, calling a global function called go to scene with the name of the scene that is about to be loaded. The signal uh, on animation finished is connected to the global script, and the um, global script also has two global variables, following scene and current scene, both empty. And uh, the scene starts with player play, which results in the transparency of the color rect. Since following scene is um, still empty, uh, on the first start of the project, nothing more happens. But once we press the um, button on one of these scenes, a go to scene is called with the next scene to be loaded. N since go to scene stores following scene and plays the animation backwards, uh, it goes back to the color black. And since following scene is not empty anymore, deferred go to scene is called with the path of the scene to be loaded, resulting in the current scene to be freed and um, the uh, next scene to be called and the player is played again. It's important to notice that if we just drop in the color rect with the black color and we start the project, then the mouse button doesn't seem to work. This is because the uh, color rect is in front of the button and uh, hinders the uh, mouse click to be uh, going to the um, button. And to change that, we have a flag called um, mouse filter and we have to set this to ignore. And once we do that, um, the color rect ignores the mouse and makes the button work again.